Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in our previous session, we have seen the setting up the environment for Django framework. So in that, uh, we have seen how to create the virtual environment because uh, in order to avoid the disturbances of uh, other projects, we are creating the virtual environment and we are installing the Django framework in that particular virtual environment. So in our previous session, we have already created the virtual environment. And one more thing, mainly this Django framework is used for uh, making or creating the web pages. So there should be some server in order to test the web pages. So in order to make our local system as a server and as a client, we are running out the server okay so similar to our tomcat server so we are making our system as a server as as, uh, as well as a client so in order to do that we are just executing the server and that server should be always in a running position then only we can able to uh, create or run the web pages all right so in this session we'll see how can we activate and deactivate the virtual environment so whenever you want to create a web page first we have to enter into the environment virtual environment and after completion of that we have to come out from the virtual environment so in this session we are going to see how can we activate and deactivate the virtual environment in python for executing the django framework so in our previous session we have created a virtual environment so in this particular location in c drive users and this username and there is a folder called envs let us check out with the folder name envs yes envs in that we have created a django project so this is the environment okay this is our environment in this environment, we'll be having a different files, uh, library, scripts, etc, etc. And later we have created one project and that project will be having these files, manage.py, etc, etc. Now, we'll see how can we activate the virtual environment in order to execute the projects. So, this is the environment name django project is a environment name so for that go to the command prompt see we are in this c drive and move on to that particular folder so cd so envs in that folder we are having django project right so cd change directory django underscore project now again check out the files in that particular uh, folder so we are having a folder called scripts move on to that particular folder cd scripts now we are in the scripts folder here just type the command activate so you can observe now we are in this particular virtual environment okay we are in this particular environment now you can check the django version so for that django admin double hyphen version so we'll be getting the version of django so we have installed here right so whenever we want to deactivate that means after completion of this thing we have to deactivate the we have to come out from the this particular virtual environment right for that just give the command deactivate in the same in the scripts folder itself right so in that particular environment folder we'll be having the scripts folder under the script folder you have to use activate for activating the uh, virtual environment and deactivate for deactivating the virtual environment you can see here now we are not in the environment virtual environment we came out from the virtual environment now you can check so version yes right so now we are in this particular scripts folder so this is the way we have to uh, activate or deactivate the virtual environment and see 
I'll activate. Now we are in this particular thing. So come out from that folder and uh, check whether there is any project here. No, we have not created any project here. So I, I think I have removed that. So once again, we'll uh, create a project. So for creating the Django project, the command Django hyphen admin space start project. Hello, right? The project name. And uh, you can check. Yes, it was created. Now you can see in this Django project, there is a project called hello. And here you'll be having manage.py. Now enter into that particular folder. So cd hello. And now you have to run the server, right? So immediately, whenever you want to create a web pages, work on with the web pages using Django framework, you have to run this server. So running this server, so by using manage.py, which is in a hello folder, right? So you have to execute Python manage dot py run sir so that will start executing the server so you can see now the server is in running state so you can check this uh, whether it has been started or not by using this particular ip address so 127.0.0.1127.0.0.1 see whenever uh, it was successfully installed you will be getting this particular message Okay, and this IP address is is our system's IP address. This we can also call it as a local host. So you can also type it as local host 8000. 8000 is a port number. 8000 is a port number. Right. So this is how we can activate and deactivate. So activation and deactivating the virtual environment okay virtual environment so hope you understood and every time whenever you want to work on with the web pages using django framework first we have to and activate the virtual environment and then we have to run the server then only we have to start creating the web pages so hope you understood and this will be useful for you so I'll stop here. In our next session, we'll see how can we create the first project. That means how can we print hello world or some text on the web page? How can we create a web page? Right. So as of now, I'll stop. And if you are having any doubts regarding this process, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.